Hi, this is the first online lecture. Um, so let me review what we have done so far. So far, the basic, uh, the key object, object that we are interested in is the conditional expectation function. So when you have x, you, we would like to predict y so we use the conditional expectation of y given x as the predictor. And here we are going to define marginal effect as So when X increases by one unit, we are interested in how much Y is expected to increase. That is represented by this derivative. So using this derivative, uh, you can see the effect of X on Y, the expected effect of X on Y, and we call this marginal effect. You may, be, you may not be familiar with this marginal effect because in in regression models, um, the, the functional form is assumed to be linear. So Y, the expected the predictor is linear in X. So the marginal effect is beta, which is very simple. So the coefficient implies the derivative of the conditional expectation function or the marginal effect. But we consider <clears throat> some nonlinear models for limited dependent variables. One, one of them was probability model, which we covered before the spring break. And another is uh, the Tobin model, which we will discuss today. So let's think about, like, so we will study Tobin model more carefully today. And let's think about two examples. The first example we considered in the, in the class was, is the medical, medical expenditure last year. So say Y is a total medical expenditure a person spent last year. And then many people have Y equals to zero. So if you are healthy, you do not spend any money on medical services. So it will be zero. And, um, and Y uh, is always, always non-negative. These are two um, features of this censored dependent variable models, uh, censored dependent variables. And another example, uh, by the way, in this case, uh, we will, X is, uh, Payment, payment or age. So, uh, we I explained a random experiment of health insurance. So the copay amount is randomized. Someone pays twenty dollars to see a doctor, and someone pays nothing to see a doctor. So that's randomly assigned, and we would like to see the effect of copayment on the medical expenditure. Also, age is another uh, interesting covariate. So let's go to the second example. The second example is uh, mothers working hours per week. So <clears throat> here, an important covariate is the number of children. 
So we are interested in the relationship between the number of children and the mother's working hours per week. And in this case, many people, many moms have y equals to zero, which means they do not work. So they do not work. And others, some may have part-time jobs, some may have full-time jobs. So uh, the working mothers may have different working hours, weekly working hours, but usually, <clears throat> Uh, so, so the the non-working mothers have zero, and working mothers have positive positive values. In these two cases, what we considered is we considered a latent variable utility. So we define utility. For example. UI in example one, UI is the willingness to pay for medical services. So this is what we explained in class. And example two, UI is the willingness to work for wage. <clears throat> so willingness to work. Uh, in this case, so what's interesting here is conceptually, you may want you you are allowed to have a negative number. For example, you may get some money to sacrifice by and and sacrifice your health. So, if your your willingness is negative, so then I need money rather than any medical services. So I want money by not doing anything, I just rather I get negative medical services if possible. Of course, that is not possible, but uh, in our, in our um, hypothetical model, we allow that. And similarly, mothers, mothers, some mothers and I do, I do want to have more time to take care of my baby, even like, and by paying money. I am willing to pay money for more time. That is negative working. So if you think about work, paid work is a trade between your time, your labor, and money. You trade uh, your time for money, but if it is negative, I would like to pay money for more time if possible. But in the data, we, we usually, we cannot observe uh, how much time you, uh, like you, we cannot observe the negative trade. For example, in, in practice, in reality, you may buy, you may pay, you may hire a babysitter, babysitter uh, to save your time. But these kind of observations are uh, not available in the data. So uh, <clears throat> we assume that if the willingness is negative or zero, then y equals zero is observed. So in either case, if it just you, I would, I would rather pay money for to hire a babysitter. Of course, then I would not work. For example, I don't work. I still want more time. Then uh, you observe only zero. But if the willingness is positive, then y is uh, this is the basic structure. So if u is positive, if you are willing to pay a certain amount of money, then you can spend that money. That's what you. That's your choice. So you observe this much. So it is called censored, censored dependent variable because you can think this as a censoring. So uh, it is censored if it's negative. So we call this censoring, censoring problem. And we then we assume that the utility, utility takes the linear regression form. 
uh, so it's linear in the observed characteristics x and additional unobserved error term epsilon. So this is our assumption. Then also we then you can you can show that expected value of expected value of y given x can be decomposed into So into two parts where, where like, so the first part is you, you multiply the probability. Uh, so this is the expected, the, the ex expected value of Y conditional on X, which is given and conditional on your expected, uh, you, your willingness is a negative number. Then it is easy. This is always zero. So the first term is always zero because whenever u is non-positive, non then it is y is always zero. So the first term is zero, zero times probability of censoring, which is not, which is anyhow, it does not matter. And second part is, uh, we will explain, uh, we will study this more carefully. So in the end, you have this term. This is how you can express the, the, the expected value of a censored dependent variable. Then we call the, so, We call the in the textbook the probability of u equals to u greater than zero is the participation effect, and is the conditional on positive effect. So we are going to study these two terms uh, separately. So I will continue in a separate video.